Pin, you've just signed your first professional contract. How does that feel? It feels great. Um, it's been a long journey. Uh, I've been at the club for 10 years. Coming to my 10th year now, I started at under eights. I officially signed at under nines. So it's been a journey of many ups and downs. So it's feel relief and just, yeah, gratitude. So over half your life, you've been, you've been coming here. Yeah. Having now signed that professional deal, you must be, you know, you must be so pleased. Yeah, no, I'm over the moon, literally. Uh, words can't even describe it. I'm just so eager to get into the professional life, so, yeah. If we take you back to Nathan and Simway, the under eight, you know, can you remember that time? Can you remember coming here as a little boy? Yeah, I can remember. What are your main memories? Just coming on the Astro, just excited, everyone in their own kit. Like, we just, yeah, just excitement. And let's fast forward to present day now. You're coming to the end of your scholarship and it's been a, it's been a pretty big year for you, hasn't it? Talk us through your highlights from the last 12 months. Yeah, it's been a massive year again. Quite a few up and downs, but my main ups, probably my debut against Plymouth in the Papa John's. That was a really big, really proud moment for me. And on the last first team game of the season, I made my league debut. I came off the bench against Cheltenham, so that was a great achievement, massive. And how much have you enjoyed this last year? It's been great. Like, so many lessons that I'm going to take on with me. And yeah, it's just been another big year for me. Positive. You said there's a lot of lessons. Are there any in particular that you feel like you've learned this year? <laughs> Just don't put too much pressure on myself, I guess. Uh, I'm very critical of myself and, and my performance. So this year I've, I've learned to, to take control of that and, and try to go into games as positive as possible. Been here for more or less 10 years, as you say. I'm sure you've worked with lots and lots of coaches in that time, there must be some people that you want to thank. Yeah, no, there's so many throughout the years. I, I couldn't name everyone, but if I was to name someone in particular, it would be, of course, Steve Avery. He's been there from the beginning, so I've learned a lot from him and then obviously others throughout my different stages in the academy. And someone that you just mentioned off camera as well is Anthony Hayes, who of course now works with the first team. Yeah. How helpful has it been for you working with him as an under 18 and then when you get to the Training with the first team squad, he's there as well. How helpful has that been? No, I've learned big lessons from Anthony. Like since I was 16, before my scholarship phase, I was playing a bit with the under 18s, and he was their manager. So ever since coming into like the scholarship type and professional phase, yeah, he's been really helpful. And you've obviously you've signed your professional contract. You've got there now. The next thing is is staying there. What are you hoping to achieve in in the next season? I'm just trying to kick on and hopefully I can establish myself in the, in the first team squad. That's, that's my main focus, my main aim. And just lastly, what does it mean to you being at Charlton, having been here for so long? It makes me proud of myself and it just makes me happy to be a part of such a big club. It's like a family, so it feels really good. Nathan, congratulations and uh, good luck for next season. Thank you.